we have a little substitution. Uh, if you came to see Winston Spear, sorry. I know, I know. He, uh, he got violently ill, so yeah, you're welcome for him not throwing up on you. But uh, instead, we've got uh, we've got someone fantastic who just happened to drop in, who just happens to be one of Canada's top comics. So we are gonna do all right, guys. We're gonna be absolutely fine. Uh, so you guys ready for your new headliner? <laughs> You're in for a treat, my friends. Uh, you uh, may have seen him just everywhere on TV, so just laughs a million times, every uh, festival that matters. And he is here for you tonight. Please welcome that Canadian guy, Glenn Foster, everyone! Look at that, I ran out of applause. And won't be getting any more. <sighs> they came for Ted, huh? Yes, of course, and uh, here's what I love about Canadian showbiz. You can have a mystery guest, guest shows up on stage, still a mystery. <laughs> I got into comedy, it's kind of weird, what happened was I witnessed a gangland slain, needed a place to hide, and I thought, Canadian showbiz. <laughs> They'll never find me here. Anyway, off the top, uh, I hope I do not appear too cuddly. Uh, strictly from a uh, professional image point of view, it is difficult to do the raw, edgy material when I have no edges. Anyway, the edgy material not for everyone. I've been doing this a long time and I'm looking around the room and I am reasonably certain that some of the people in here might be a little bit offended by some of the things that I might say. Uh, on the other hand, the white people. <laughs> I, know, I, I work with a lot of black guys and a lot of Latino comics in the States and they're always on about white people, white people, white people. Or as I like to call them, people. <laughs> Anyway, it shouldn't matter that I'm white. It's not like I'm trying to get a government grant. <laughs> oh, now we found the white people. Uh, feeling the guilt on that joke right there. You, you almost, it's, it, it, you know, you, you know, if you did fill out a government form for anything, you'd be like, you'd be like, check out the box and be like, white, eh, what? <laughs> Male, eh, eh. <laughs> Middle-aged white male, oh man, that's the trifecta of hate, huh? Oh man, we get blamed for everything, huh? Who's destroying the planet? Middle-aged white guys. Who engineered the banking collapse? Middle-aged white guys. Who's picking up hookers and bear in the backyard? Middle-aged white guys. Not so cuddly now, huh? Oh, I have ADD, I should mention that. I actually have a little bit of ADD, a little bit of OCD, right? So, I have a little bit of ADD, a little bit of OCD, right? So, I have a little bit of ADD. That's good, that's only two and a half, that's not bad. That's my, that's my little tester joke to see what, You wouldn't believe it, sometimes it'd be like five deep in that joke, right? And people just staring at me, he's just saying the same thing over and over! What kind of comedy is this bullshit? I had a group on to get in here, buddy. Some professional entertainment. You know, ADD and OCD, it's a weird combination. I, I obsess about things I barely pay attention to. And that's a bit of a misnomer, that whole can't pay attention thing. But, well, all right, it's fairly common. How many people in this room right now suffer from someone else's ADD? Because never the ADD person, they don't suffer, they just glide through life, right? Oh my god, just oblivious to the world. Here I'm just gonna, who's gonna get my laundry? When, who's paying my rent? When, what's for dinner? I lost the thing. Who's got my... You know these people, right? And you, you all know someone like this. Right? If you don't know someone like this, you're this. You know what I'm talking about, right? These people, like, physically, they're right in front of you, right? But mentally, you have no idea where they are. Oh, man. Don't you wish there was some kind of indication that they're no longer in the conversation with you? 
wouldn't be cool if there was just some kind of app or some, some maybe, maybe surgery, surgically implanted, like a screen in their eye, right? A little computer hourglass working, working, no further information, working, working. Yeah. You'd be at a party, oh yeah, oh, ah, don't even finish the story because Num Nuts has gone to the hourglass, so. I should wait for him to reboot or whatever the hell he has to do, I don't know. What else is he even working at this point? It's annoying, you do it, you drift off, you zone out, you don't mean to do it, it just, it, if you don't know, if ADD, if you don't have, ADD, it's like having thought waiting, right? It's like no matter where you are, no matter what you're doing, it's, oh, I gotta get this, and off you go, you zone out, and oh, my ex-wife hated it, oh, she used to call it Glen World. Keyword ex-wife. She did not like Glenworld. Well, to be fair, she didn't really live there.